it's uh, 4 a.m. now, about to be uh, morning, uh, April 28. Um, I, I am having uh, intense emotions that I'm working through uh, in any way I can. And then, uh, I, you know, this is, you realize what I do, uh, uh, recording myself uh discussing it discussing this stuff and uh, you know uploading it sharing it publicly is is my way of uh, um dealing with this, this stuff uh, healing myself uh it's just for some reason so important for me to 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 have this stuff broadcast publicly and i need more people watching it for some reason that, that the more people watch it the the, uh, the, the better I feel uh, and uh, <clears throat> it, 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 the emotions I'm having right now have to do uh, with uh, a, a woman a lady um, that has been in my life for quite a while now that uh, <clears throat> I, I have been receiving um, the the most profound uh, acts of kindness and generosity and uh, healing from this woman, uh, especially lately. Uh, and so that, that's what I'm, uh, this video is about. It's about her. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if she will be okay with me discussing her in this way uh, publicly. So I will make it a private video and I will share it with her <coughs> and see see if you know if she she if you're watching it and it's public then 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 she she's given okay for it being public. Uh, I'm sharing it with you. So um um I I get a lot of therapy <laughs> as you can figure I, I, I get a get a lot of support um the, the the varieties of kinds of of therapy uh um and uh now you know i i i i i've told you before i go to this church for example that e even though for some reason even, even though i don't believe in in in, in the, the religion itself the dogma the, the stuff that's being discussed there for some reason i really benefit and enjoy the, the uh, um, believe in the people the people at, at this church that i go to uh the, and the way they treat me and and the things they do for having having them pray for me uh for some reason is is uh <clears throat> extremely beneficial to me uh and then like that's one kind of support i get and then there's the regular, you know, psychotherapy that I get uh, in different ways, uh, which I, I seek out. And then, and then uh, I t talk repeatedly about Janet, which is addresses uh, stuff that therapy can cannot. Therapy just does not address um, regularly, you know, past lives and uh you know entities and uh other such matters right it, it has it has some this these boundaries to w what it accepts as as uh, you know it may even concede consider discussion of matters like that as, as some form of delusions and i i think it is limited because of that you see and and so that then i talk about janet who 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 who, who you know goes to to beyond uh, the box, out of the box, which you know psychotherapy has for itself, so far beyond even any uh, the, the 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 stuff that's just even socially accepted. Uh, such uh, profound. I mean, the the stuff that we believe in, we discuss in in that meeting Wednesday nights. Um, I was telling her the other day uh um that uh uh 
the, the, if you could weight ideas, concepts, according to how how many people actually know about them or believe in them or, uh, 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 you know, uh, a concept like Christianity, you consider how many people, what segment of the population of the entire world know about Christ and Christianity. It's a pretty large uh, segment of, 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 the, of the globe, of, of humanity, that, that are aware of the concept of Christ, you see. Uh, and then the, the stuff that we discuss with Janet in that meeting, this, that just only a handful of us are, 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 are aware of, you see. And uh, <clears throat> and then so, but that we we realize that that's there's no indication whether uh, when you rate an idea based upon how many people know it, is no indication whatsoever whether it is truth or not. You see, because a lot of the stuff people believe in the Christ is, uh, I, I just know, is just misrepresented, misunderstood, is just uh, corrupted. You see, the entire message of Christ is so, so uh, distorted. Uh, I, it's just so obvious to me that, that that is the case, you see, <clears throat> that the whole world is deluded about what, what it is that happened. Um, and then... Um, the the thing that this, the the stuff that that Janet talks about in our meeting, uh, I it, it's just my per perception. I, I uh, the the group of us that that's there, uh, uh, the, we, it's just it it seems uh, such profound truth, you see. But it I actually it, it, that wouldn't be saying much because I've been in varieties of uh, of gatherings, uh, you know, cults and weird religions and whatnot. And that no matter what it is I'm in, no matter the weirdest things they believe in, they always believe what they believe is the highest truth and uh, only truth. And nobody else they have it right. Nobody else has it right. <laughs> you see, um, there's something about that. Um, so, um, so this is the thing. These are the, the varieties of um, interactions I have uh, with with people with completely different uh, takes on reality and uh, uh, um, and life uh, and. Uh, I mean, the people who believe in past lives, the Christians don't believe in past lives, right? That offends them, that they could, they consider that the, the, the stuff that, the, that that's discussed as actually like demonic or something, uh, they, they do not like that at all. Uh, <clears throat> and then, uh, and then of course, like I mentioned, uh, the psychotherapy would consider the stuff that the, the, that's discussed as actually delusional. I I actually talk about that. The Janet uh, <clears throat> shows sees things that are uh, in which a psychologist would consider a, a, a hallucination. She hears things that aren't there. And the stuff that she says, as uh, the deaf uh, psychologist would, the psychiatrist would consider delusions, and uh, so I, I make the case that the, uh, the psychiatrist would would very possibly consider uh, diagnosing her a schizophrenic because because of the stuff she believes and the stuff she says, you see. And th this is why I have those three different uh, varieties of different kinds of uh, uh, people with, with the, the different perspectives on life. It's like the like the the uh, uh, um, three branches of government with checks and balances because I just see, see have such perception of reality as being so weird that I need all these different things. At simultaneously in my life, uh, just to check, keep a check on reality. You know, uh, I don't want any one of that's a, the you know the concept in government of the checks and balances of the three branches 
uh, so that not any one of them would 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 uh, <clears throat> you know oh, you know take over in some way. Uh, yeah. So uh, <clears throat> uh, the whole point of this, I, I I'm getting all these different kinds of therapy, but but the the one that I'm getting, this is the point I want to make, that is so crucially important. This healing, this support that I'm getting from this woman is far and away the highest and the the the, the most uh, effective, uh, the, the the most healing, the most powerful healing that I'm getting from her. Um, because what she does for me is beyond anything any therapist, any religion can do, any spiritual healer can do, you see. Uh, and th the reason for this is what she does for me. Th th this is so important. <laughs> what she does for to me and for me, no therapist can do is simply that she touches me, you see. Not only does she touch me, she is intimate with me. And she does not have the the boundaries, the communication boundaries that a, that a therapist would have. I am able to tell her uh, uh, secret fantasies that I have that I have not been able to reveal to anyone else in, in my life, you see. And then have her perform those fantasies with me. Uh, if, if you can understand how profound <laughs> that is, <laughs> that, that is <coughs> the, the, the most incredible um uh healing uh uh, uh uh that i i this is the thing i shared with her this this um uh <coughs> um segment of this cuddling course that i took years ago <coughs> this is when all this the whole thing began is with with this cuddling course uh and the the the, <coughs> the, the idea that um uh, fulfilling, <laughs> seeking out and fulfilling uh, <coughs> your your desires uh, in a way <coughs> uh, actualizes you, you see. And this is what she's been doing for me. <coughs>